Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, comic book fan, and welcome to another episode of the weekly VM Campos Comic Book Club. This is the series where I review a comic book new or old from my collection on the following five dimensions. Cover art, interior art, plot, and enjoyability of the book on a scale of one to five. This week I'm reading Star Trek Voyager, Mirrors and Smoke, One Shot, published by IDW in 2019. If you'd like to hear the audio version of the podcast, head on over to your favorite podcasting apps, search VM Campos, and subscribe. Now, spoiler alert, I will be going through the various pages of this comic book, so if you don't want to know how the story plays out, you are encouraged to buy the book yourself. Head on over to your favorite comic shop and buy it for yourself to enjoy. You're helping your favorite creators and companies and local comic shops if you do so. It's really worth it. Let's get started. As usual, a little background info on the comic. So I picked this up recently, but it was published last year uh, in Disha State's October 2019. So it's been out a little while, although I hadn't really heard of it. So I'm late to the party. I was also kind of late to the party to Voyager. I did watch it in the beginning when it first debuted on the UPN network back in the 90s. And I gave it a shot for the first season. And then they changed times or stations or something and I never continued watching it and I just kind of fell off. And I need to go back to Voyager and watch the series again because, um, yes, the first few uh, seasons are not amazing, but I remember some fond things about it. And when Seven of Nine appears on the show, then the show gets better. So I got to go back and watch it. And if you hadn't known, um, we are at the 25th anniversary of Voyager. Wow, 25 years since uh, Voyager came out. Now, full disclosure, I'm more of a Star Trek Deep Space Nine fan. That is the best Star Trek series of all time. Fight me. Don't even try. You've already lost. The changelings have infiltrated you. Um, but I would uh, check out Voyager again just to kind of get the full sense of it. In this comic book is a foray into the Mirror Universe. There were no Mirror Universe episodes in Star Trek Voyager. There were in the original series, there were none in The Next Generation, there were lots in the series Deep Space Nine, nothing in Voyager, a couple in Enterprise, and then Discovery, who cares? So um, it's kind of cool to see like the evil versions of these characters, and that's what this book is all about. So let's get on with reviewing it. First, the cover art. I love this. This is a 5 out of 5. Again, I love seeing the evil versions of Star Trek characters. So we have a totally badass looking Janeway with a huge gun. Belana in full Klingon attire with Batleth. Uh, Harry Kim on the cover. Um, interior, He's uh, in the book itself, we see that he's got a huge scar on his face. But for some reason, you don't really see it on the front cover. Uh, Seven of Nine is not a Borg on the cover, but she's also holding a big old gun. Uh, Chakotay has a headband, uh, makes him look tougher. Paris, I don't really see too much different about him. He's wearing a cool jacket. So this cover is really fun. Um, it's a five out of five. I just like seeing uh, the evil versions, but it's also very well drawn by JK Woodward. It's a very painterly style. It's very realistic and, and excellent caricature of the artist. So I really like that cover. Moving to the interior art. Well, like I said, this is by uh, J.K. Woodward, uh, letters by Neil Uyatake. And uh, Woodward does a great job of rendering the environments of Voyager and the characters, plus excellent expressions. Uh, this is great. I just love seeing uh, these characters in comic book form in this caliber. I like this art a lot. There's some wonderful expressions like of the Doctor, his nonplussed look. It's just really good. Uh, things that are further in the background are kind of lost a little bit in the painterly style employed here. But close-ups of characters, faces, expressions are wonderful. There's a great muted color palette to throughout the whole book that's very enjoyable. Interior art, again, that's also a 5 out of 5. Very enjoyable. 
The other half of the team is the writer, Paul Allor. Uh, I have to say that this is more of a four out of five because I, I didn't feel it was enough of an ensemble cast. It focused too much on Janeway and Seven of Nine, and I guess a little bit of the Doctor and Neelix. And this is an ensemble cast. Like, what's what's Kim up to? What what's the details with Tuvok? I don't think even uh, Bellana Torres even speaks. She, she's there in a tough Klingon pose several times, but she doesn't even speak. So, I think this is a problem that some had in the series that eventually the show really became the Janeway and Seven of Nine show. Um, and the comic really feels like that. That I would have loved to have seen more of the ensemble cast because Star Trek is always about that. It's about a variety of characters, how they live, how they uh, coexist, how they paddle each other. Um, so I'm going to ding it for that. And actually, I think I'm going to ding it one more uh, to bring it down to a three and a half. Uh, I thought there were too many crosses and double crosses and triple crosses. I, I just thought it was a little too much trying to do a little too much. And the ending, I didn't quite like the ending of what their ambition is. Um, we were given a sort of preview on the cover. Plunder the mirror universe with Janeway. And there's a little bit of that. Uh, but maybe this is just a tryout book because there really wasn't enough of that to give you a sense that they're like these space pirates. As a matter of fact, they call Janeway the pirate queen of the Delta Quadrant. There wasn't enough of that. There was this other story with Seven of Nine. Um, Janeway and the Doctor, plus Neelix and Kess, 3.5 for the for the plot. It, it wasn't as uh, enjoyable as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, again, seeing the evil versions of these characters and just alternate versions. So, above average. And the enjoyability of the book, I'm going to give that all the way back up to a 4 out of 5. It's enjoyable to see these counterparts, these characters. I wish we would have been able to see more about them. Maybe this is going to be an ongoing series. I have not paid too much attention to it. And like I said, this was published back in October 2019. As of this video, I haven't checked if there are new um, issues in this in a, in a further series. But I thought it was a little uh, trying to do too much in, in one book, but then not enough. But that's the nature of things. There's a really cool pose of Kess. Uh, I feel like she's doing like a, a Dark Phoenix pose because she's using her psychic powers to destroy the Doctor. Uh, spoiler alert. But he's a hologram. He's okay. Um, but it was an enjoyable book overall. If they continue to do this sort of series, a Mirror Universe Voyager, I think they'd be pretty interesting and, and cool to add to the pull list. So, 4 out of 5 enjoyability. So as for my simple get it or not rating, I'm going to say yes, get it, get this comic book. It was interesting, it was weird, it was enjoyable, it was well drawn. If you like these characters, you definitely need to get it. If you didn't really watch Voyager, this is kind of an interesting take on it, so I would still recommend to get it. And once again, if you'd like to hear the audio version of the podcast, head on over to your favorite podcasting apps. Spotify, Pandora, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, etc., etc. Search VM Campus and subscribe. Don't forget to like and review as well. And tell me about what you thought of the comic. If you head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash vmcampos, you can follow for free and be alerted to everything that I do, all the content that I create for free. If you go to the $1 tier, you will unlock exclusives. And if you go to the $2 tier, I'll actually mail you a comic book in thanks for being a patron. In any event, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. So this week I read Star Trek Voyager Mirrors and Smoke, one shot, published by IDW in 2019. This has been the weekly VM Campus Comic Book Club, and I'll see you next week.